Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be giving advice um, to a question submitted by a viewer around how to support someone who is in the midst of psychosis. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Living Well with Schizophrenia channel. My name is Lauren, and I make videos about what it's like to live with schizoaffective disorder or schizophrenia. So if you'd like to see more videos from us, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you would like to help support the creation of our educational videos, make sure to check out our Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Through Patreon, you also gain access to our private Discord server where we offer various forms of peer support through text or even video support groups. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to check out the link to our Patreon page. Also, I just wanna give a huge shout out to all of our current patrons. We could not be doing this without you, so thank you so much. All right, so this is our latest video in our series around answering people's questions or situations and providing advice on them. Just a quick reminder that I am not a working mental health professional, and so just take my advice with a grain of salt. I am coming at this from a peer perspective and offering advice based on my own personal experiences. All right, so reading um, what was submitted to us, I was wondering if you have any advice on how one should interact with a loved one who is in the midst of a psychotic episode. I think that that's something that kind of a lot of people struggle with is how to, you know, properly help someone who may be in the midst of a really challenging period, such as a psychotic episode. So I know something that has been really helpful for me is kind of diverting my attention from the delusion that I'm experiencing or the hallucinations or, you know, whatever positive symptoms are happening as a result of the psychotic episode, diverting my attention from that and more focusing on how I'm feeling in that moment. So if you are supporting someone who's in the midst of psychosis, you know, acknowledging what they're experiencing. So if they are, you know, having a hard time with the sky being purple or something like that, being like, okay, I hear that the sky is purple. That is not how I personally am experiencing it, but I get how that might be alarming or scary for you. Do you wanna talk more about how you're feeling? You know, validating their experience because what they're experiencing is very real to them. Um, but kind of moving on past that and saying, well, let's talk about the emotions that it's bringing up, or let's talk about how you're feeling in response to that. And then moving on towards, well, how can we keep going? How can we move forward? How can we you know, keep going with our day or our life with that still being the case and kind of helping them to move through it in that regard? I think another personal experience that I'd like to bring up is the last time I was in a really intense psychotic episode, I was very fearful of everyone around me because that was part of my delusion and I was getting wrapped up in paranoia about everyone. And I was very mistrusting of the people who were around me and were trying to support me and whatnot. And so um, I think building rapport and building a sense of trust between the person who's in the psychotic episode is very, very important before you can really do anything else. So an example was I was, you know, just terrified and cowering in a closet, um, just fearful of everyone around me. There was two police officers in my house. And what one of the police officers did was got down on my level and started just having a conversation with me, trying to, um, you know, trying to build some kind of rapport. And then she started saying, hey, you know, you came to speak to my recruit class and I really, really appreciated what you were doing. And she just kind of kept um, driving the point home that she was a safe person. You know, she kept trying to build that sense of trust between her and I and letting me know that I could trust her with this very vulnerable state that I was in and I could trust her to support me through that. And so I think that that is a, critical step in terms of supporting someone who is in the midst of a psychotic episode. And I think another thing that I want to touch on is that, you know, even if this is a loved one and you already have an existing, you know, trust built up between you two, it may not be the case in the midst of the psychotic episode. And so you kind of need to work on building trust within that moment. So, you know, that came up with Rob and I, where I think Rob was a little bit taken aback at the fact that I wasn't trusting him while I was in the psychotic episode and that I was questioning, 
you know, his motives and his involvement in what was going on. And so understanding that someone's reality is shifted when they're in the middle of a psychotic episode. And so even if you have a strong sense of trust on a regular basis when they're at their baseline, that may not be the case when they're struggling deeply with psychosis. And so understanding that you need to work on establishing trust and rapport in that moment. And then of course, once you've built up trust and rapport, it's easier to kind of work on what I was talking about before in terms of addressing the feelings and then working on how to move forward with all that being the case. And then once you've kind of talked about feelings and moving forward and whatnot, there may be room to then discuss how best to manage the psychotic episode, whether that's using medication, whether that's um, going and speaking with your doctor about changing medication or different types of therapies, or whether that's, you know, figuring out how to cope in other ways. But that kind of, you know, once you're through the crisis point and things are feeling a little bit more stable, that's when you can then talk about how to manage the psychosis. Or if it's feeling like it's not going to be easy to manage on your own, then, you know, talking about potentially going to the hospital to gain further care and support. All right, so I hope this little advice segment was helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And again, if you would like to help support the creation of these videos, make sure to check out our Patreon page. Thank you so much again for watching. And as always, wishing you and your loved ones good health. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.